I am on the page right now. Um, first impression of the web page. I'm not really sure why this line in red is repeated several times on the page. I wasn't really sure at all what I was looking at if it was in. It looks like there's different languages, different types. I'm really not sure what this page is displaying at all. Um, we're moving servers now. Post might be lost for the next four to five hours. So I'm going to scroll down and see. It definitely looks like it's something IT or computer related. Which dialect do you prefer? It has a lazy language available. So it looks like it's some kind of, yeah. So I took a couple programming classes in college and it looks like, I don't recognize what language this is, but it looks like some kind of programming language. Um, it looks like it might be a blog or help discussion page for people that are using this. Looks like it's Rackets, some kind of programming language. So it looks like it's a blog or, or tread where people can ask questions. So well, I want to just click on something, maybe this YouTube video and see if that gives me more information. I'd also like to see what one of these links go to, but so I'm going to do open link in new tab. Um, so I'm a little bit more confused. I'm not sure what this is showing me here. So it says the video. As the Americans learned so painfully in Earth's final century, free flow of information is the only safeguard against tyranny. The once chained people whose leaders at last lose their grip on information flow will soon burst with freedom and vitality. But the free nation gradually constricting its grip on public discourse has begun its rapid slide into despotism. Beware of he who would deny you access to information for in his heart. So I'm looking, so I'm, as I'm watching this video, I'm trying to figure out how it's related to the site and I'm not totally sure. So I, at first I thought it was a programming site, but it looks like it might be something different to that. Maybe talking about this might be some. I think it's some kind of secret site where it's a whole different language for people that are maybe talking about some kind of social issue or trying to use this as a secret website where they can communicate with one another. I'm going to click on this popular link. Um, until today, and that time I finished a pretty awesome brush to screw my teeth. Okay. I tend to format. So I definitely think it's a, some kind of computer related specific user. Um, so what stood out to me about this website initially it was just all of really this part here um, is what first stood out to me I first noticed the the top portion here where it had the different photos it almost looks like some kind of anime or um, but looking through the website it was frustrating. It wasn't really clear what the discussion was, and maybe that's because I'm not in the loop as far as the language that they're conversing with, but it's not really clear what really what the website is for. I'm just making analyzations based on what I'm seeing here, um, but I could be completely wrong about the deductions that I'm making. But overall, I mean, I would not come back to this website 
I don't see what use I could have for it. Um, clicking on some other links. Is Pirate Radio dead? Pirate Radio with an internet station, so I feel that if I were more up to speed, maybe took some computer programming classes, um, something related to IT, this might make a little more sense to me, but as of right now it does not.